Alrighty folks, I'm Keith Bowen, this is Hard Rock University. Now tonight I'm going to show you a whole system in a nutshell here. I just kind of kind of breadboarded and duct taped together to show you how it could work. I'm using my Action Mining Impact Mill and I've modified it to be more of a blower than it is from the factory. The way I got this set up now it'll do about three pounds per minute you know almost 200 pounds an hour with the dust collector bag to keep things nice and dust free pull this off it doubles the throughput because the less back pressure goes to about six pounds a minute and that's about the limitations of that mill for fine grinding it just it just won't really process any more than that to do more than that you need a bigger mill but I'm using what I got to test the theory. The theory seems to work pretty well. So let's see what we got. First we have a suction hose and this will suck directly out of the bucket. However, in a real setup with a larger mill and more throughput, I could actually hook this right up to the bottom of my RC46. Not only would it take the entire output in that case, but it would also keep the dust down quite a bit. Now, goes in here, you have the standard impact mill um, with some kind of customized impactors. I've done my best to balance it, but it's still got a little vibration. Then you have the air classification column. Again, in a real production system, this would have to be sized properly for the size that you need. From here it goes to this air cyclone. Now, this is a dust deputy by Oneida Air Systems. I got it at Ace Hardware for a little less than a hundred bucks. What it does, it collects most of the dust. The heavier stuff, as the air spirals in here, gets thrown to the outside and falls down the outside, and the smaller stuff comes up here. Got a dust collector bag to keep the dust. This, if properly sealed and everything, would do an excellent job of you know dust collection keep your environment pretty clean. If you don't have enough airflow, for example, if you've got a, uh, an impact mill that really can't be modified into a blower, then what you got to do is just put a shop vac right here. and It'll just suck it through. Whatever the shop, shop vac will suck, that'll basically be what your capacity is if your impact mill can handle it. And then the shop vac itself would keep the dust down. What you might not realize, this doesn't have to be at these elevations. If you've got sufficient airflow through this, you can suck from farther down than that, and you can blow this a lot higher and a lot farther. I used to work at a mine where we'd get quick lime in truckloads about 27 tons. And it's about the size of pea gravel, it's a density of limestone or a little less. They could empty a 27 ton truck in less than an hour through a four inch line just blowing it. Air transport, pneumatic transport can really move a lot of stuff. Now if you're moving something that's flammable you can create static electricity and explosions. Most rock has a very low flammability rating and that would not be a problem. So you can take this hose make it a, a lot longer. You could have this, if properly sized, it would suck the entire output of the RC-46, crush it, blow it to wherever your extraction equipment is, put it in here, you put something with a conical bottom on it, water spraying in here, a valve on the bottom to adjust it, it's now slurrying everything and feeding your table with no human intervention. The nice thing is by adjusting the valve on the bottom, as the water level gets deeper, it's going to run out faster, and so it becomes kind of a self-regulating system. It has a negative feedback. The more water in there, the faster it goes out, so you should be able to balance it without too much trouble. And here you have a complete system that would do your milling automatically. No human intervention, no other moving parts if your mill can give you enough draft by itself, it's got to move anyhow. 
None of this other stuff has any moving parts. Therefore, maintenance is like zero. Excellent. I like that. Nobody's got to be moving material around, picking a bucket up here, putting it over there, dust or slurry coming out there, and then it's got to be pumped or put in a bucket and poured into that. None of that. Nice and smooth. No human intervention, no moving parts. I love simplicity. So let's get an idea how much is in the dust collector bag. Versus the bucket. I'm guessing at least 90% is collected by the cyclone or more. 90-95% would be my guess. So that's basically how it works. You have some kind of suction, whether it be the impact mill blowing, or a vacuum, or both. Sucks your ore after it's been crushed into the mill, pulverizes it, blows it to wherever you need to process it, gets collected out of the airstream, gets slurried, goes right to your extraction. Any extra dust can be collected either with a dust collector bag or a vacuum. Simple, easy, almost maintenance free. I hope this gives you all some ideas. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.